Hello everybody. If you saw my recent blog post, you know that today is just not a perfect day for me. Um, I woke up with a terrible headache, took a shot, woke back up. Um, my headache's still there, but better, but still hurts. So I wanted to go over my um, Imitrex medicine. I've had a lot of questions and emails about this. You guys know I really like to do more beauty reviews on here and maybe some cooking um, and kitty cat stuff but I don't really do pharmaceutical medicines um, per se on my blog channel or my blog or my YouTube channel but since um, 12 years old I have really been dealing with migraines and there's been very few things that really work for me short of going to the ER and getting some um, serious drugs in my system um, Dilata Thinegrin, um is usually my normal combination and then I just come home and sleep for a day and usually the headache is better but when I was a teenager I tried um, the stuff out and um, I remembered that it worked pretty well for me so I recently have been getting this probably for the last six months and it really has cut me out of the ER and worked pretty well since I am not feeling good today, I'm going to actually be doing this in full. I'm going to be giving myself the shot, and I'm going to be kind of going over how this works. So if you suffer from a migraine, this might be something you want to talk to your doctor about. Um, it is a um, prescription drug. It is not a narcotic. Let me first off um, read what you know these little pamphlets say. It... Um, this goes by S-U-M-A-T-R-I-P-T-A-N. Sumitatran. Um, I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but it says it's used to treat migraine and cluster headaches. It helps relieve pain and other symptoms of migraine headaches, including sensitivity to light or sound, nausea, and vomiting. Prompt treatment allows you to get back to your normal routine and decrease your need for other pain medications. It does not prevent future migraines or headaches or reduce how often you may get a headache. It belongs to a group of drugs tri called triaptans. It affects the central um, natural chemical that constricts blood vessels in the brain and it also may block other pain pathways in the brain. So that's what it is. Um, I, I could read all the side effects. There's really, for me, no side effects. This, look at that. Romeo, will you get down? Um, <laughs> there's my baby. I've, hi. But we're not giving you a shot, so you're getting down. Um, this is what it comes in, is a box like this. And this is an empty one, but I'm, I have a reason that I want to show it to you. This is what it looks like. It is the shot form. They do have this in pill form, which doesn't work as well. It comes with a little pamphlet, by the way. Um, it doesn't work as well, and they have it in a nose spray, and the nose spray smells like roses. I mean, like a very distinct rose smell, and I don't even understand why somebody would make that when they understand that smells are sensitive to people who have migraines so why in the hell give you a rose scented medicine i have no idea that goes up your nose okay so this is what it looks like um you push the button in and it opens the medicine there's two syringes in here there's one on this side one on this side and this is the self-injecting um i don't know what you want to call it shot thing you push the button the shot comes out let me show you the old one because because it's open and I can kind of show you. Okay, so it again this whole case is replaced every time. Oops, every time you get a prescription, this whole case. So this one's about to go in the garbage, but since I'm doing this video, I thought I would show it to you. Okay, and you open it up, and this one's empty. But there is the needle, and so you put it down in here, and you turn it counterclockwise, and you pull out. Now the needle is in here. You give your, you push this on the skin, you push the button in, and you give yourself the shot. Now you can unscrew it, and that's what I'm going to do to kind of show you what it looks like and how big the needle is. That's how big the needle is right there. It's not huge. 
Um, this whole vial from about here to here is what's filled up with medication. You can't really see because it's got that sticker, but I've took it off before to see. And that is how big it is. So it's a very thin needle. It's not too bad. Let me put it back in. Uh, it goes this way. You don't normally take it apart. Um, it doesn't come apart. So you'd give yourself the shot. Then you would put it back in. Turn it the other way and now the shot is out of there it's in here and it's easy to be disposed of you put all this in and you dispose of it this whole case after you use both shots this stays in my purse because I never know where I'm gonna get a headache and my purse is always with me so there we have it um, it's got two tamper seals on it I'm gonna go on and do it because I'm not feeling good and I want to feel better I gotta leave for Indiana tomorrow these do not give you a buzz in any way. If you're a junkie, which I hate to say that, but if you are, again, down, clockwise, it's now loaded. See the difference? It's got this right here. That's what makes it look loaded. This is, let me show you real quick. Turn it over. This is what it looks like not loaded. This is what it looks like loaded. Um, like I said, if you're... Um, a drug seeker this is not going to give you a buzz all it does is feel like a warm medicine going through your blood vessels in your brain there is no buzz to this for me there is no side effects except maybe a little bit of flushing in my face so let's get started let's just do it um, I'm not a fan of giving myself a shot you can give it to yourself in your arm in your leg um, really anywhere you're comfortable. I'm giving it to myself in my thigh. It's easier and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I gave myself a shot the other morning. I got a tiny bruise but nothing too bad. Let me show you. I'm going to move the camera. Okay, let me cross my legs and make it easier. See the bruise? But that wasn't that bad. Um, so here it goes. Now it does say that you need to hold it for five seconds and that's not that easy for me. So Because it does kind of hurt. I'm going to give it to myself, I guess, right here. As you can see, there's my leg. And you push in like that. All right, you guys, this is not easy, especially doing this shit on film. One, two, three. Hear the pop? One, two, three, four, five. Out. Whew. There it is. A little piece of blood, a um, little drop of blood. Just get something, and um, I got a little rag right here. Hold it on there. It, it does stay sore for half a second. And I can already feel it working. I feel it in my brain. I mean, it just takes a second. Now, let me get the camera back up here. Oh, please work good today. Okay, now you can turn it counterclockwise again on your own. You don't have to put it in there, but I just wanted to show you that all the medication is used up. I wish I could just take this tape off. But all the medication is used up. It's gone. So, normally you wouldn't take it apart. I'm just doing that to show you. So, that's what it looks like when it's used. Um, it looks pretty much the same. It goes back into the capsule. Turns left. Pull it out. The needle's in there. Close it. Put your little shot back in. It clicks. And that's it. So, I did want to show you this. Um... I will tell you that it says some of the pain side effects are pain, swelling, bleeding, bruising caused at the injection area. Well, we just saw that. Flushing, sensations of tingling, numbness, prickling of heat, weakness, drowsiness, and dizziness in the may occur. Those don't happen to me. I do feel the, um, what do they call it? The tingling in my brain and up through my neck. I don't really have a problem um, with this drug except for the small pinch it gives you, so... There you have it. That is Imitrex um, in the shot form. This one's the used one. So this whole case is going into the garbage. See it clicks. Shut it. Garbage. This one's good. This one's garbage. Actually, there's a little bit of a weight distinction, but not much. Um, you can tell again because that one has the tamper um, evident seals on them. Um, I do leave, a, leave the one that I'm not using on there, so... I know that this one's used up. Um, with my insurance, these are $10 a piece. I couldn't really tell you how much they are without insurance. That would be something you'd have to talk to your pharmacist about. But if you suffer migraines and 
um, need to go on because I don't need to be a doped up mess from the hospital trying to get stuff done. These work well to take the pain away and keep you going throughout the day. It really does. Um, they don't make me drowsy. They don't make me nauseous. I do get a little bruise usually, but that's, I mean, I'm giving myself a shot, so why wouldn't I get a bruise? But I like my thigh better than my arm. My arm seems to hurt more, but these really, really do work well for me. So what I'm going to do now is let this medicine work in about a half hour. Um, grab a little food because um, I don't know if you guys know, but you have to watch your trigger symptoms on migraine, such as not eating your meals at the right time, too much salt, too much chocolate, which I do love chocolate, um, but they do say that can trigger a migraine, um, too much stress. There's lots of things that contribute to it. Um, and one thing for me that I have to really watch is my meals. If I skip meals, um, I'll get a headache and usually there's no coming back from it. It goes straight into a migraine and it takes hours and shots, um, hours of time and self-administered shots and maybe even a trip to the ER to make that go away. And so I really, really watch my meals. Salt's not something I'm big on. I mean, I use a little, but it's not a problem for me. I do eat a lot of chocolate, but I have for years, but never know. I mean, I've had migraines for years, so maybe. Um, but yes, these are what I've been using, and I highly recommend them if you want to give them a try. Definitely talk to your doctor. You can't get it without talking to a doctor. But if you suffered, these really might be the answer for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.